Hello guys, my name is Master Rolfus and welcome to Ironcast, a turn-based strategy game in which you pilot giant steampunk mechs for the fate of the British Empire. The developers call it FTL meets steampunk, so let's see how much of that is true and how much it diverges from the FTL formula. It's developed by Dribbit and published by Ripstone. Uh, yes, I would like to do a new game. You can choose from four commanders, each with their own unique uh, backstory and augmentation, which helps them out a little bit. Makes them do unique stuff, crazy things. And then we have our unique battle constructs, these iron cast mechs. You could choose between four of them. We have the Dun Raven, and then we have this guy over here. And they have their own unique ability. This guy could fire six small missiles and has a different loadout as well as a different um, capacity limit for these resources. So, for example, he can hold eight ammo and eight energy at a time at the start. Whereas this guy can hold ten energy but six ammo. Also, the health is a little bit different as well. The next energy based weapon to, fi to be fired will ignore 75% of the enemy's shield strength. Now, this is much in the way of FTL in which permadeath does exist throughout the game. So if you do lose your mech, you have to start over from the beginning. Like FTL and I guess Binding of Isaac and stuff like that. Hmm, what do I want to pick? I guess I'll pick that guy because you start off with him. Alright, so you can pretty much upgrade your mech in this screen. Give yourself some nice spanking weapons. You can buy blueprints from here that you unlock from missions. And you can also upgrade your mech with more, I guess, a health or storage. And also you can level up here. And as you, you know, progress through the game, you get augmentations for your commander as well as for your mech. Alright, let's select a mission. And I'll show you guys how you can play. There was an intro and tutorial sequence that I skipped over because it's a little bit stupid and stupid as in like if you already played the game you're pretty much going to be handholded and there's not much of a story for you to learn basically put france attacked britain well not britain but rather the british empire but more specifically the island of great britain and pretty much you're fighting their invasion and they invaded because i wasn't paying attention during this point <laughs> I think they evaded because they had a secret resource and tensions were high and something and uh, France didn't want to share. But anyway, so, this is your mech, this is the enemy's mech. And you have two weapons, you have weapon A and weapon B. Weapon B is usually your laser cannon and it's good against different uh, uh, enemy mechs. Whereas your weapon A could be a missile launcher, it could be a, a machine gun sort of thing, a cannon which is useful against steam tanks, which you'll also come across. Now we have defenses, then we have drives. Drives are good against evading enemies, and they have a percentage. The more percentage you have, the more, um, I guess you're gonna dodge enemy bullets and stuff. Whereas shield strength, it influence how much you can absorb damage. Now, every single time you end your turn, you get, uh, you get to collect resources from this little bar here. And you know, you have energy, ammo, coolant, and repair. Repair repairs the um, stuff if it gets damaged. Coolant allows you to not overheat and take damage. Energy allows you to power up stuff, and ammo allows you to fire stuff. Alright, so let's just go ahead and do this little thing. Actually, you know what? Hold on a sec. We're gonna do this. This is an overdrive node. If you use an ability while you have the overdrive node available, then what ends up happening is you actually get a boost which is pretty darn handy in some circumstances all right we're not gonna be firing we should get some ammo anyway so let's uh, do that and afterwards we'll get some repairs this yellow stuff is scrap you can use it to uh essentially uh, get more uh, what was it fuck 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 money all right so now we're on overdrive we have 20 extra shield strength and we're gonna keep doing this so that I can absorb some damage. And I'll fire some rockets. Take this, you savage French! So right now, I'm pretty formidable. I didn't do a lot of damage, and that was because of the massive shield strength I have. 
Or now I'm taking this like a champ. Now, it's time to probably kick this guy's butt. Now, let's, now because he doesn't have the shields on, we can go ahead and use our light cannon. The reason why you would want to use energy lance is because they punch through shields. Whereas um, projectile weapons, which are found in the weapon A category, like missiles and light cannons, can't do that. But he doesn't have a shield on, so we can do this. And we're going to be super effective. However, right, we got no more ammo. So we'll raise the shields and walk. Right now, he's at 16% evasion, which is good, so we'll be able to dodge stuff. Cool in time. Ugh, we're not getting a lot of good combos. There we go. That's a good combo. But now we have no more energy. See the problem we face? Well, this only requires ammo. And cool ammo. So we're good. Fire. He did turn on his shields. So obviously he was able to take damage. But. Well. Oh, shit. Oh, we're gonna take even more damage. And I can pause the game like so, like that. But I did do a lot of damage to his missile launcher now, so he's not, he can't use that, which is good. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this underway. Now this one, you can link up to different nodes and sort of get uh, multiple bonuses, which is awesome. I'll do this. And then afterwards, I'll go for that. Alrighty then. Fire. Ooh, so close. I don't think he'll be able to use his weapons. Oh yeah, he'll be able to use one. That's some damage. I should have probably raised my shields before um, firing. It's my fault. We can just hit Q. Blasts mofo sky high. That was a little bit of a harder um, boss fight than I expected due to the fact that, well, I messed up with one turn and I fired my machine gun. But it's all good. We got an energy lance and extra drives, which is actually pretty darn excellent. A new energy lance gives us more uh, damage and new drives allows us to evade a little bit better. Now we gotta go ahead and repair. And now we can't get that, which kind of sucks. That's okay. We can go ahead and get an ability that should help us out a little bit. Alright, now there is a hard mission, but I don't want to do that. And as you continue this game, you have eight days till the boss arrives. And once the boss arrives, ooh, it's going to be scary. All right, so let's go ahead and do this mission because I've done this in multiple uh, playtests. Basically, you can choose between a steam tank and a walker. Or iron cast is what they call it. I think I'm going to fight the Mr. Tank a lot over here. Just so I can show you guys what's up. Oh, we have a lot of ammo. Let me go ahead and fire my rocket barrage. This is free, but there's a... There's a, there's a cooldown. Now, these guys don't have shields. It's, so, but they don't have strong shields. But instead, they have like a large amount of armor. So, they're tough. Hmm. What do I want to do? Do I want to waste this? Yeah, I like that. I don't want to waste these. Okay, there we go. There we go. 
Let's see, can we do one more? Yes, we could. Actually, hold on. Before I do that... Forty percent shields. That's pretty darn good. That train is moving forward. The choo-choo of death. Well, let's fire the cannon. Now we have no more ammo, which kind of sucks. We're just in a bad situation regardless when it comes to getting ammo. A lot of coolants. Trying to link them up. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Two right now, right off the bat? That would be good for business. Hold on. Got no energy. Fuck! Let's save them. Let's save them. Let's use the energy right now to get some shields. Yeah, this is a good uh, situation, actually. We'll fire some ammo at this guy. Yeah, come on. Taste it. Taste it. Taste that. Might fire pretty soon. Yep, there we go. Ooh, but the cannon is not effective. I have to use his energy weapon. It might be offline because we shot it a bunch of times. Could be a possibility. Oh shit. Ooh, actually, that worked out. We need health anyway. Alright, now with overdrive on, we'll do even more damage. Miss a lot less. Hmm, what do we want to do? Whoosh! Fire a couple of barrages. Ooh, nice! Got the kill. And that could have ended badly for us, actually. The guy did run away, though. Ah, we get a light cannon for our troubles. That's pretty good. Remember, this is all RNG. So, uh, I could predict some little upgrades you can get, but something you will, at most points, get just a random thing. Oh my god, really? Running hot. Yeah, I like that. Alright, let's get our new toy. This gives us a little bit more damage. I would like it if instead of just straight up more damage, changing to a different weapon would give us few different kinks like how it is with a missile launcher what the hell we're out dealing damage to his armor system interesting Hmm. Yes, I have done that. 
just want to slow it down a little bit. Or at least, like, try to shoot down one of its guns. Which is what I tried to do. I guess maybe that was a little bit too sporadic. Yeah, that was probably a bad idea. Alright, well... No skin off my bones. I'm just gonna raise my shield to prepare. Is that all you got? If they want me to destroy it without damaging the armor, then it's obvious they want me to use my energy lance. Otherwise, I can't destroy this thing without uh, doing damage. There ain't no pacifist uh, mechs. No. Those are sissy mechs. What about that little thing's dangling? Anyway, guys, if you come across a mission like this, don't do what I did and use your rockets. You have time to do that. Usually, you don't want to waste your turn on scrap because it's all collected for you anyway but sometimes you just gotta get rid of it god this thing is weak Know this. I would have killed you already. But I had my way. But no, apparently this girl wants you for herself. close all right he's gonna damage me a little bit ah he's overheating right now that's actually really darn interesting okay now that my shields are gone we're gonna be in a little bit of trouble oh, I'm feeling it are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Ah, look at this. Look at all these guns. Alright, fire one. And fire two. <gasps> you missed? Why? You doomed us. You have to use the missiles now. Look how much damage this thing does. Have mercy. I said have mercy. You got a fire. One shot. Yes! Ah! Uh... 
Man, at this point, I was I was really happy. Yeah, I could have gotten that armor for myself, but I I just went in hot. Um, now I'd rather do this. Sometimes your ammo stock is not filled up. All right, let's just repair. Oh, that thing beat me up. At least we have new shock coils, which would be cool to use. Apparently, these replace. What are these replace? Are these? No, they're energy weapons. All right, so they uh, replace the uh, energy lines. Play for 19 minutes. We'll do one more. This time, I think I'm just gonna do a battle. Collection is a little bit shite. Actually, I like this. Multiple light armored iron cast. Oh, that's the iron cast I was using before. I was gonna use beforehand. Does a good amount of damage though, so we should not underestimate this little one. Okay, unlike the last mission, I don't give a shit about what this guy's all about. So let's just fire at him. This War of the Worlds looking creep. Oh no. Spaghetti! Ah, oh, wait a minute. Let's do a lot of damage. And neither does that missile. good kind of just want to have a couple coolants and that's it all right fire the light cannon mk2 shit this thing just dodging everything when it actually hits ooh, it's like a cannonball oh no Crap, I could have taken more ammo. Actually, no, wait. We only have a capacity of eight. So it wouldn't have mattered. Um, yeah, I'll take this away. Just so I don't have to worry about it. Bye bye. Shit. Taste cannons. Yeah, we did a good amount of damage off our salvo. Nice, good hit. Oh, what, is, what kind of demonic weapon is he using? Oh god, that cannon. Really powerful. It's punching through shields. I want it. I want that. I want that really badly. Try some rockets. That actually did a good amount of damage. We might be able to kill it this turn. Oh, uh, let's see. Ammo's all over the place. 
And not in a good way. Shit. Hopefully this will help out in absorbing his next volley. The only problem is that that heavy cannon that he has is really strong. Thank god he didn't use it. Alright, good. Alright, he's been damaged up quite a bit. Probably still walking like a champ, though. Ooh, let's do this. Just to make sure he falls. Bye bye. Good stuff. So that mission got a missile launcher and the heavy cannon that guy was using, so that's good. Alright, good. Fill up a little bit. Now, what should I use? The missile launcher does more damage. We'll buy the missile launcher, but we need to get that shock coil soon. Alright, now let's get a new sort of thingy that should help out. Yeah, penetrating shock. Alright, and that's pretty much Ironcast for now. I will see you guys later where we do some more coverage on the game. Bye-bye.